Hey everyone, welcome to Assassin Productions, and this is Riley, Danny, and our special guest here, Poznan's, aka Ryan, from his own channel, and this is our top 10 things that should be added to Halo 5 Guardians. Before we start anything, Dan forgot to add some people. We have my chocolate friends here. I just killed one. I ate his head. <laughs> oh, so, let's kick off this list with number 10. Well, actually, they're not in any specific order, we just think that this should be added into Halo 5. Starting off with the first one, we have Firefight. Yes. Alright, that goes without saying. Firefight was cool. It was fun. It was something that you could go dick off with a few friends on. And Probably like... A quick way to get, you know, oh. Spartan Rank. I mean, Spartan Rank. It a quick out. way to do challenges because there were a lot of um, Firefight only challenges, especially when 343 joined the game. Sometimes you just need to mindlessly kill enemies without really thinking about it just to have a good time, blow off some steam. And you don't really have that in Warzone because noobs and all their stupid power weapons are just stressful, man. And also, since they got rid of that, I've started killing people in mass numbers in real life, so. Yeah. Do you really want this 343? Pausnas, what do you think about Firefight? Did you really play Halo Reach or did you even have a 360? Personally, I never played um, Firefight. I've seen a lot of. <laughs> I've seen a lot of footage on YouTube, and I think it'd be really cool. Um, when I play a video game, I look for. You know, you got your mainstream modes, and then you want something you can just be like, I want to shoot things, man. I, I just want things to die. Ryan, will you guide us? Next, um, well, the, one of the things I should, I think should be in Halo 5 Guardians is, we all, you know, ground for that legendary armor piece, right? And you put it on, and you're like, I, I got, I got no benefit out of this. I just wasted my life. So... I think personally that they in Warzone they should have a small buff of some kind, like a boost, or uh, maybe you deflect a few bullets, or you jump a little higher. Uh, simple things like that that would make having that legendary piece of armor a lot cooler. What he's saying is that he plays too much Destiny. Yeah, but also this is a good point to bring in that it should only be Warzone because if it's arena. That basically takes the skill aspect out of it and it brings in more of a luck aspect. Mm -hmm. Since we're on the topic of armors and whatnot, I think that they should have more kind of a rustic feel to them. Like, maybe in one of the map packs that they give to us for free, they can maybe give out a few armor sets that look a little bit more uh, battle damaged. Used, or, like, yeah, like actually like used the scars and, and kind of like in Halo Reach, for example. I'm pretty sure that's where you derived that from. But we all know that even though Halo Reach came before Halo Five, I mean, well, I'm at Halo Four actually. Um, the way the armor looked and was textured just made it overall much better than Halo Four, and in my opinion, also the way it was modeled. Like I'm gonna make a reference to Call of Duty Ghosts right here. Whether you like the game or not, that game had one of the best. <laughs> that game had one of the best um, customization. Um, Features, features, in a, a first-person <laughs> first person shooter that I've ever played, and so like you could choose a million different body styles for your character, and I'd like to see that in Halo Five, some different um, armor styles. Permanent game modes, assholes. Three, four, three. They are such teases. They strip tease you. They just about to show nip and nope, gone. Yep. Show us the nip, three, four, three. Just Show take them the off. Take off the bra. Please. Like, <laughs> Please. I mean, we, we can go without we can go without snipers, but double doubles would be ball. Double doubles would be ball. Double doubles. <laughs> yeah, it would be. It'd be dope. Like, so uh, uh, Ryan wants double balls in Halo Five. Thing. Drop right in his mouth. I know why they're not adding in all these game modes to, to keep people with. coming back. You, yeah. It's because in the Master Chief Collection, their hugest issue was every hugest. Their biggest issue was. Everyone being, you know, separated and segregated throughout the different game modes, and that's what they're afraid of again, because, like it or not, that was arguably a fail. We need more game types. This is kind of a no-rape-brainer. No rape? Yeah. Did you say no-rape? <laughs> no this rape. is kind of a no-raper. Yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bigger maps, because... These maps are all clusterfucked, especially for SWAT. In Halo Reach, we keep on bringing that game up because it was great. It's a good example to take from Mr. Three, four, threes. Dicks. <laughs> the reason <laughs> that I bring up Boardwalk is because it was a relatively long-range map, 
and it, I feel like if they had more maps like that in Halo 5, it would eliminate the whole spawning issue because the maps are cluster fucked. In SWAT, it's not about camping at all. Like you're always constantly going around the map, and sometimes your your people, like your teammates, they uh, they split up, especially when you're with randoms. So like you're just doing your laps, and everybody's spread out. So most of the time, you spawn behind the enemy that just killed you, or you spawn in front of the enemy that just killed you. So what either ends up happening is that you're too dumb to shoot them in the back, and they kill you. Or you're just terrible and you get shot because they're in front of you and you're bad at spawning. Because spawning is a skill now. Where did that come out of my butt? <laughs> I take Dome from Modern Warfare 3. If you ever played that map, you know that spawning was awful. Um, at least at launch. Yeah, it was, it was poor at best, even after launch. And so in Halo 5, I came to Halo 5 brand new release night. And I played about three hours. He's like, wow, my KD is only negative eight. <laughs> and Good job, team. I found, I found in Halo, um, it's a much faster paced, it's a much more competitive game. And therefore, you see a lot more of the spawning issues than you did in Call of Duty. Because, let's be honest, Call of Duty is kind of slow. So <laughs> Map boating. That's something that should have never been taken out. That's ridiculous. Why are we always being put on random maps? I know it's a high competitive map, and it kind of eliminates the whole spamming the same map over and over and over, but if that's a problem, then never play the same map in the same lobby again. You have the B button. You, you can leave. And plus, there's multiple maps. If you only show three map options in a game, then you can just complete, you can keep cycling through them at randomness. Randomness. And then you can try to avoid those maps that you just know you're going to go negative on and make you sad. Yeah, and if if you're gonna go sad anyway because other people outvote you, it's because obviously you didn't need to be on that good map. You got to be on the bad map because people wanted it more. If my slur words are making sense to you, it's because I'm on cannabis. So our next topic is gonna be team change in Forge because as of right now in Halo Five, there is no team change in Forge, and it can make it a little difficult <laughs> to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on with this messy subject. This is why we love Dan. It's annoying, basically. You join into a match of Forge, and you don't pick the right team. You can't find the person that you're trying to forge with, and you have to quit the game and then join back. It's just a pain in the ass. And also on like the what? Uh, why was that? Why is that a thing? Where is that in your head, three, four? What did you do? With that, I would also like to point out other updates that should be made to the uh, to the UI slash HUD. Um, it's called the HUD. The navigation of the entire thing. It's slow and it's clunky. And Halo 4s and Halo Reaches, especially Halo Reaches, it was quick, it was easy to access, and it was just easy to remember. Halo 5s is kind of, it's alright the way it's navigated. It's pretty easy to get through, but it's not as visually appealing doesn't really have a nice background besides a ship in front of a planet. I actually like the Guardian's beta better. And also, when you go to your armor, it's usually laggy. Like, it, it's really slow to zoom in and out. And you do that at first, no matter what's happening. And then in Halo 4, it basically uses the same armor pieces and probably models. And it goes like this. And it zooms in like it's no problem. You can definitely <laughs> fix it. I mean... Putting down the resolution a little bit to get more frames on that would, I think, be worth it. I know you want to focus on the gameplay and stuff, but now you can focus more on fixing everything else. Also, uh, bringing... This is kind of on the same subject as changing teams and Forge, but it's uh, Warzone Forge. It'd be really, really cool. And also AI and Forge. It'd be really, really freaking cool. Kind of goes foot in foot to, uh, you know, get on those maps and do whatever you want and then get a huge amount of people to come in and maybe you can customize Warzone a little bit. Maybe make it all the Spartans in the game against Covenant and Forerunners. Like, that'd be really cool in my opinion. I'd make I, for a good machinima. It'd be a really good thing, especially for a new player like me who just kind of wants to explore the game. Um, you definitely don't have those choices. Sophocles, I mean, basically. You're a taint. So, for our next topic, I would like to introduce custom emblems. Wow, it's so new, so brand new, so amazing. What are you talking about? It was always in the game, until, like, probably, I don't know, Master Chief Collection? 
you don't have to completely eradicate the system that we have now, but at least allowing us to interchange and switch out the emblems that we have now, like as in adding this background with this uh, foreground and changing the colors much more easy than rather than just giving us this weird color palette that sticks onto it, would be amazing. I mean, I'm not saying you need to go full Call of Duty and make it so you can make a bunny having sex with another bunny. I'm just saying that I want to be able to put my smiley face on top of a square whenever I want to. It's pretty short and simple, like Ryan's dong. Okay, so. <laughs> I thought that was far. <laughs> I thought that was the table oh breaking. My. Better file share? I mean, come on, guys. It's kind of clunky and stupid right now. I oh. want to spend a lot of no, we need to make the people here the table. <laughs> they, this table's here too. We need to spend- I would like to spend not a lot of time, but I would like to spend an in-depth time explaining this, that how big of a like, deal this is. In order to go to the file share, you have to go to the person themselves and then download it. I don't even think you can search somebody's gamer tag. I think you have to be a friend and in the game with that person in order to go to their file share. If not, there's another way. Please tell me. But in Halo Reach, it had like the top downloaded and top rated and And in tagged. Halo 3 too. Yeah, in Halo 3 too. It was amazing. You could find anything and it made it such it made you more connected. It made you feel more connected with the Halo like Halo players, other Halo players in general. I like being able to go to the right, go all the way down, while looking to the left, seeing my map that I want to be able to vote for, and then going back to the right, seeing who's talking to me, who's in party chat, and then clicking on their name. And going to file share. That was awesome and it was fast. This is what we need, 343. <laughs> okay, guys, so our last topic tonight is um, an addition to campaign. We want a kind of like a mini campaign mode. Um, you want special missions that tell the backstory of both Chief's team, which is Blue Team, if you didn't know, and team, Fire Team Osiris. Which is kind of like Spartan Ops, except. Rather than straying off from the story and kind of showing you what happened before and around Chief's time as different characters, you play as the characters that we already know and love to get to know more about them, um, learn more about their character, I'm pretty sure I just said that, see their characters develop, see the story itself develop, and maybe fill in a few holes and plot holes that Halo 5 itself did have. Cortana's yeah. boobies. <laughs> Cortana's boobies. She's got chunky cheeks now. <laughs> Alright, so I was thinking about this last night. Just laying down, thinking about how the biggest complaint that I've heard about both of the fire teams is the underdevelopment of, uh, especially Vale and Tanaka. But I think it'd be really cool if you can get all of them to have a backstory mini campaign, kind of similar to Batman Arkham Knights uh, Gotham episode type things. I don't, I forgot what they call them, but it's uh, yeah. really similar to that. But Anyways, I think that, that wraps it all up, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I would like to add something real quick, though, to that. Um, you were saying, like, playing as them in single player, right? Mm hmm? He did. Teammates and going back to the old formula of Halo's campaign would not only make loyal fans happy, but it would also give new fans the feeling of how Halo used to be and also kind of be more re-immersive because before, they're used to playing this long campaign with teammates that suck and... Um, relying on them, this might actually make it harder because you're relying on yourself and yourself only and you gotta try to power house through the campaign <laughs> without teammate jet shocking sometimes revive you about 15% of the time pauses they just flesh they, out your characters and right. you flesh so, out your characters what they That's mean good. What they mean is we really want to see some more character development in our individual characters in Halo 5. <laughs> like seriously, where did these chicks come from? Did we just UMC pick these holes up off the corner or what? Well, one obviously came from Nintendo. Came from <laughs> freaking Samus. <laughs> but all right, she's really? hot, man. Samus is hot. Plus. Shut hey, up, man. You know they could actually do this for like paid DLC. In my opinion, I'd buy it. Uh, I'd buy it. Because they're but giving it us. Be paid. It should be in the game in the first place. Yeah, yeah it should be, but. But who I cares? Don't, I don't if they don't want them to print money, then let's let them give them ideas to print money. That's right. Okay. Well, you can make this paid because obviously this would take many dollars, and you're already giving us who knows how many maps for free for Warzone and well, we've Arena. Got, we've gotten what? Four maps a month for three months now? Something like that. Nice. You got one? Zero? 
They haven't given us shit. <laughs> yes, they have. <laughs> They've given us like six <laughs> maps. <laughs> They've given us like six maps. I know. Come on. What is this? Is this I don't know. Like Are we done? Destiny? Okay, guys. So that was. Oops, I just smashed the table. That was our RAM for today. I'm Ryan. <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm gonna All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Ram. Thank you, Ryan, for being on this. Just kidding. You suck ass. Ah! Get off my channel. <laughs> Actually, Ryan's a really cool guy, and he makes some really cool videos, but he hasn't posted any to his new channel, so if he got off his butt and pumped out some new videos... If you want to check out his channel, make sure you click right on his face. There will be a link to... He cut me off. <laughs> he, wants, he does gaming videos, and they're good, like Farming Simulator and CSGO. Probably. He's got a new computer. It's all good. This is Riley, this is Danny, and what does RAM stand for? Random Access, Access memories. memories. Or Riley and Marvin are now together and not me and Marvin. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like really awesome maps need to be added to Halo 5. That's what it means. Really yeah! awesome maps. Really awesome maps. Watch out your characters! <laughs> Come awesome, on, 343. Goodbye. See, See you later. Being assassin, like, are you watching? Don't <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs>